The Penguins, however, did get a point, so they gained one on each of those. Boston, however, gained a point on the Penguins. So when you add it all up, Penguins have five points more than Boston. You can see where the Flyers are. They're desperate. But uh, they have some head-to-heads where the Bruins left. The Penguins uh, uh, still five points up, but the Bruins have a couple of games in hand. So it's going to go right down to the end, and goaltending will decide it all, I think, Andrew. Well, that's been the Flyers' bugaboo for forever now. Going back to Bernie Perrant, they've always had goaltending issues. Once in a while, a guy pops up like Hextall, I guess. Uh, and Carter Hart was supposed to be the answer. He hasn't been. And that's why the Flyers, really, when you look at the lineup that they put out there, they've got four quality centers. Uh, you know, they, they miss Matt Niskanen on defense, but you know, it's a pretty solid blue line. It's really all about goaltending. Hart and Brian Elliott have been, in, have been so bad that it's given Philadelphia no chance. They're not like the Sabres or young like the Devils. They've got a pretty good team. They're just terrible at one very important aspect of the game. Without Malkin, Tanev, uh, Kapanen out there, the Flyers probably have a better forward lineup than the Penguins do. And tonight they got good goaltending to match that, and that's why they were able to win. I mean, the Penguins wasted the first 20 minutes of the game. Let's just call it like it is, right? I mean, they had three shots in the first yeah. period. That's unacceptable. Brian Dumoulin gets your first shot on goal 14 minutes in. I mean, you want to make Carter Hart, who's been a total mess, you want to put pressure on him right from the beginning. You know, get in his head, and they let him settle into the game, Bob. He was probably drinking uh, Mai Tai or Pina Colada <laughs> during most of that. Or a glass of wine would be probably more up your alley. Yes, indeed. Uh, but that's uh, what it looked like for him in the first period. I will give the Flyers credit. Like I say, they're pretty desperate, and I thought they knew they had to come away with points here tonight, and they did. So uh, what's your take on Jeff Carter? I thought he looked really good. I mean, he played in a number of situations, uh, centered the second line. He had some quality chances. He didn't score, but I was encouraged by what I saw. He was 9 of 13 in the faceoff circle. So, you know, that's one of the reasons why they brought him in here. He's good at that, right handed faceoff guy. Um, also, I thought his speed, 36 years old, he moves well for Better his age. Better than I thought. You know, he for still sure. got it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's not Connor McDavid, he's not Carl Haglin, but, you know, he moves for a larger man. There's no doubt about that. The Penguins are a team that tries to win with speed. So you've got to keep up with them. And I thought he did a pretty good job. Uh, of that tonight. He's he's known as a guy that shoots the puck a lot. I don't know if there were a ton of shots. I didn't see his final shot total. I think Maybe he got two or three. three. Yeah. Three? Okay. Yeah. He may have attempted well, more. Uh, to me but the, yeah, you're right. He's a sniper. That's what he's going to do if he does it well here. Yeah, and I would say for a guy that's you know playing on a new team for the first time in 10 years and it's in the middle of a season, mm -hmm. I thought he didn't look completely uh, lost tonight so I think a pretty good start for him in his Penguins career it was uh, we'll talk more about that we also have the Pirates to get into and uh, some you know continuing coverage of that Pine Richland situation with the dismissal of Eric's Eric Kasparovich and his entire coaching staff uh, there's going to be a protest tomorrow by students in the uh, early portion of the day at the school I from what I understand so we have a lot to get into want to hear from you at 412-575-2600 that's the number call it now air your opinion right here live on Pittsburgh CW